Okay, so now we want to show you a duration test. That means we want to let the machine run on a high concentration for some minutes that you see as uh, that the device is also very stable in high concentration for a longer time. Therefore, I go again on permanent. I'm choosing 70 microgram. We also could do 80, but 70 is the one we use for the multipass treatment. I confirm. Now the device is creating the 70 microgram. And now the gas is going into the analyzer. And you can see we are in the moment at 70.2, 70.3, 70.5, 70.1. So let's run this, uh, let, let this device run for a few minutes. Um, in the meantime, uh, what I can do is I can try to explain you something about our safety feature. Here we got our air trap. The air trap has a double protection or three times protection. Um, for example, we have here a sensor and here's also a squeezing valve. Um, when the sensor detects a very small air bubble, then the squeezing valve is pinching the tube of the eye set, which is mostly here, so it's inserted here, and then it's squeezing the valve. And the second security is also that the device, in the moment when the uh, sensor detects a small bubble, the device is taking the pressure right away of the eye set. So there's no risk for the patient. Also, um, to start the air trap, we have to confirm. Also, the human has to confirm that everything is co uh, inserted correctly. Otherwise, there's no possibility to build up on pressure. Um, also, if the air trap is not correct connected to the device, the device will give you an error message that the air trap is not right connected. If the sensor would be broke, uh, broken, the device will also give you an uh, information or a failure message that something is wrong with the sensor. So if anything should be wrong with the air trap, the device cannot go a step further, so we cannot build up pressure, so it's completely safe in different ways where the air trap has to communicate with the device. So, and uh, as you can see, we are still here at 70 micrograms, 70.0, 70.1, 70 70.2, so it's quite accurate. Um, what else? What I wanted to explain you during we let the machine run a little bit, maybe I can get a coffee in that time. Um, so we have the eye set. The eye set is prepared as a, or is produced for the ozone therapy for hyperbaric ozone and normal baric ozone. And um, it is made out of a medical plastic which is free of any phthalates, free of latex, so it cannot harm anybody. And also we have all the tests done uh, that they are ozone resistant. Also the tubings here are ozone resistant and everything. So yeah, it's a perfect set and the only set which is registered for the hyperbaric ozone therapy. And yeah, we have a volume of about 300 milliliters. Um, but for the uh, ozone therapy, we are using only 200 milliliters. Also, this stopper is not, a, uh, is not a, a latex stopper. It is made out of another ozone-resistant material. Yeah, what else I can tell you? Nothing, <laughs> I think so. Um, the air trap I explained already. The device is running now, I don't know, maybe for about... Um, Three, four minutes and you still can see, I go a little bit closer, it's still on 70, 70.1, 70, 70.2, 69.9. So the device is running and running and running and running. And I can continue this for a few more minutes without any problems and without dropping the concentration. Uh, the next one I wanted to show you is after that um, video is that also the device is creating um, the desired concentration under pressure. Therefore I can start preparing already the set. 
I have here the eye set. Let's go a little bit far away that you can see what we are doing. So we have the eye set here and uh, I can prepare this already. You see the device is still running on 70 micrograms, 70, 70.1, 70, 70.1, 70.3, 70, 70, 70, 69.9. So it's running and running and running and running and I can let this run for about one hour without dropping the concentration. This is the new uh, invented ozone tube we have in there. So I will prepare the eye set already. Uh, let me try to get these tubes a little bit out of the view of the analyzer that everybody can see it. Because this is what I don't need. So then we have the lower line. Um, I will need... Um, uh, I will need something with liquid in to put in the sensor of the air trap. Okay, that the end sensor detects that something is in. So you can see still 70 microgram. Yeah. So, but then I have to go out of the permanent menu and go to the infusion mini, but you can still see 70, 70.1, 70, 69.8, 70, 70.1, so it's quite stable, it's not even 1% out, out of the range, so, and we can let this run for hours. So, to show you now the test with the pressure uh, test, which comes from the eye set, um, I have to go back to the infusion mode because now we are on the permanent or on the free flow. So I'm going back to the infusion mode. So then I will connect the eye set also to the analyzer. So now I'll go I go on infusion. Infusion, I choose again 70 microgram, all the rollers are open, I confirm. So then I need to prepare the air trap. And first of all, we need to get all the ambient air and also the vacuum out of the eye set before we start creating pressure. Because at first this has to be filled with ozone because otherwise the readings would be completely wrong because you would mix a uh, desired concentration with air, what is in here in the set, so it would completely um, get out of the readings. So in the moment the device is pushing the gas into the eye set, the eye set has a volume of 300 milliliters, so it takes about 20 to 25 seconds until the gas comes to an analyzer. So we will just wait a little bit. I have here already prepared a syringe with a needle and I will take the gas out of the uh, eye set after I created a pressure. Um, so, what will I do? I don't know if you can see it, let me check. So let me check. So in the moment when I will close this roller clamp here, then the device will build up pressure in the eye set. Um, we are now at 68.4. It's very hard because the ozone also reacts in this bottle and everything so it's very hard to get now 70 out because it's too much tubings and everything and uh, so but we are now at 68.9 so what I will do now 69 so I will close the roller clamp now so now you can see that the device I go a little bit closer that the device is creating the pressure so, I will leave it like this, um, I go now to the bottle, first of all this one is closed so the pressure is there, 
I disconnect that part because I have to fill the syringe in here. Now I'm taking the syringe. Taking the syringe. I'm going into the eye set. Going into the eye set. Okay, so now I feel the syringe. So I disconnect it here. I take the gas into the analyzer and we are at 67.3. So let's do that again. Taking the syringe. Take it here. The needle on the side, going to the analyzer, pushing it in, 67, so it's quite accurate, completely in the tolerance. So let's do it a third time, and you can also hear when I go in that the device, that the pressure drops and the device is creating again ozone and is rising the pressure again. And the last push, 66.6789. And you can also, when you press faster or slower, you can also affect the readings a little bit. But it's not a big um, difference what you can do. So, yeah. What else? Should I do it another time? sixty six point six completely accurate and in the tolerance so I took now four syringes with sixty milliliters out of the bottle so that's two hundred and forty milliliters of gas which I took out of the ice set so and you see it's still here at zero point seven bar that means I took two hundred and forty milliliters of compressed or, 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 or yeah compressed ozone gas out of the eye set and push it into the analyzer. So, that's it.